all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and a couple of y'all been hitting me up asking to see a dps comparison between quentin beck and quentin query so that's what we're going to be doing for today's video man we're going to do a best of three between the two mind damage characters that a lot of you guys have been having a lot of fun with i personally have been absolutely loving kid omega i just love the way his skills look i love the way he plays he's just so smooth so fluid whole lot of fun to use this character and mysterio is not bad either so a couple of y'all been hitting me up asking to see who's the best between the two quintets so boys we're gonna put them to the test against three different bosses and see who comes out on top i have them built quite similar to each other so it should be an interesting bout now for this comparison we are going to be using them with their best possible team setup so keep that in mind right i'm not going to try and make it balanced i'm just going to use the best team that i can put together for both of these characters okay so against Ebony Ma here we're gonna just do about a minute or so of the fight just see how fast we can bring him down to eight bars using Quentin and okay I thought he got away there but he didn't and I think we should stop here because this is usually where he, there we go okay so what was that eight and a half bars left with a minute of five let's see if we can top that with Mysterio and after this we're gonna jump in against Call of City and, and against Thanos Okay, so the time to beat here against Ebony is a minute 05. And the next team is going to be, hmm, who do I want to use here? I could use Cyclops for like 60. No, no, actually, we're going to use She-Hulk. We're going to use She-Hulk's lead since Mysterio is a super villain. So keep that in mind, guys. And then we're going to use Shuri. She-Hulk and Shuri. That's the best team we can put together for him. Where is Shuri? Shuri, baby. Where are you hiding? Okay, guys. I'm, okay, there we go. My finger was over it this whole time. And obviously, I need to pick <laughs> Mysterio. Boy, I'm tripping. All right, so let's jump in. Let's see if we can beat a minute 05 here. Now, admittedly, even though I've had a couple months to play with Mysterio, I'm definitely not as good as I'd like to be when it comes to consistently timing his damage proc. But I will try my best. And what I will do to compensate is... Hold up nice for the most part i'm gonna try my best to um ah proc on the fifth skill but when he does you can always proc on the uh two and that gives you about the same amount of damage as the fifth to be honest with you but if you can get four cancel five cancel two going that's a solid rotation okay, i'm gonna go Ooh. ah this guy with the bloody iframes i hate him so much I'm tempted to use my three just because the rotation is a little bit off, but I'm not going to do it because that's going to give them more to target and just mess this thing up to all hell. Now, I know a couple of you guys are going to say, oh, this is not a fair comparison because Kid Omega doesn't have a uniform. Mysterio does. Trust me when I say this comparison would not exist if um, Mysterio did not have a uniform, okay? Mysterio's base damage is just pure garbage. But with the uniform, he comes out on top here, boys, just by a little bit, even with a bad rotation for me. And he doesn't have nearly as much going for him in terms of like team up and support here. All right. But just keep in mind that Kid Omega still has a lot of potential to tap into. And to be honest with you guys, a legendary uniform just eclipsing him says a lot about him, to be honest. Let's actually jump over here and try him out against um call obsidian we'll do stage 20 yeah that shouldn't be a problem we're just gonna try and push this guy down to like nine bars and then we're gonna try and see if we can beat it with kid omega now the only thing we're gonna have to watch out for here is the guard breaks from call obsidian because mysterio can be guard broken at the beginning of his fifth skill so what i'm gonna do is try and teleport really quickly with the fifth that's actually a good amount of damage there Okay, let's put up the um I'm trying to stay away from him to make sure that when I use that initial hold up. Now my rotation isn't necessarily the best right now. I should ideally be using four cancel, five cancel. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Actually, Mysterio can tank a bit in this uniform. He has a this is a better rotation but the damage didn't seem that that different 
Okay. Ooh, hello. This guy, did this guy forget that he's supposed to transition? There we go. 50 seconds, seven bars. Um, <laughs> probably picked too low of a stage here, but that's fine. We're going to come back in using Kid Omega and see if we can be 50 seconds. So let's actually go ahead and drop this team. We're going to go like this and let's see what the kid can do. Probably should have gone with stage 30, but it is what it is. We'll try them on Thanos after and then we'll go a bit longer. Okay, so we're going to go five and then ooh, hello. Oh, hello. The one thing that, well, it seems like both of them have one thing that the other doesn't have, which is in, in Kit's case, right? He doesn't have a heal, but he has paralysis, which works in World Boss Ultimate. Yo, Kid is cutting through this way faster. Yo, hold up, hold up, Kid. Yeah, Kid, Kid got this one, boys. Kid got this one. Kid is way easier to use. He doesn't have a heal. Mysterio has a heal. That's one thing that you guys have to keep in mind. Also, why is it taking so long to load? Pause. There we go. Damn, this thing finally decided to load. I don't know what's going on with the game server. Netmar will figure your life out. Anyways, let's actually go over here and try to run against Thanos. Yeah, stage 12. Doesn't matter. We're not using strikers. We're going to just push down to like, um, maybe like 11 bars here. Now, maybe we should do a little bit longer than that. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit longer than that just because Kid has the paralysis and that's going to make it so that he has a big advantage on these first um few um phases. So we're going to... Ooh, I missed the whole proc there. It's fine. I'm, I know I'm going to miss a lot of procs with um stereo and I missed the proc again. Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ride out. Ooh, we're going to ride out the um, fifth skill is what I was going to say. I missed two props to start. That's really, really bad. There we go. That's good. That's good money. That's sauce. Let's see if we could. Come on, come on, come on. No, I was going to say, let's see if we can <laughs> keep him here indefinitely. We're gonna go down to maybe like eight bars or maybe even you know what five bars let's go down to five bars okay 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 ooh. and then let's tag one more time and then ooh, i missed the proc because i waited too long i was trying to like make sure i didn't miss the proc like i did at the start of the fight but by waiting to make sure that i hit the proc i missed the proc <laughs> has that ever happened to you guys when you're like okay I've been triggering my proc off by a little bit. Let me delay like my cancel a little bit. And by delaying your cancel, proc just comes early and just messes everything up regardless. <laughs> oh, life finds a way. Okay, so now we have no paralysis to help us. Let's get out of there. Ooh, that was sauce. That was saucy. Go in your next phase. There we go. We'll stop at two minutes. I don't want to keep you guys here too, too long. We'll do two minutes. Ooh, I got clipped. Oh, I was wondering why I didn't get slowed down. And then I remembered that's because Kid can remove debuffs from himself and my proc was late. I'm just so sad. And I completely missed the two minute window. So we are stuck going to five bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh boys okay there we go two minutes in 10 seconds ish right to um get the big guy down to five bars let's see what we can do here with our uh, mysterio recent teams shuri go over there i haven't used she hulk recently so i'm gonna have to go to combat and pick her up where are you there we go and let's jump back to blast and mysterio Let's see if he can top that, boys. Two minutes and 10 seconds. I doubt it because he doesn't have paralysis to make the first phase go by faster. All right. We're going to go four cancel, five. 
If only you could instantly cancel his um fifth skill, just like you can for Kid. That would definitely help his damage. But I can't complain with where he is right now compared to where he was before. Like this is a uniform that Netmob would definitely put the effort into. Like if only every uniform could be like this. Not necessarily in terms of like how powerful it is, right? Because Mysterio isn't like wowing anybody really. But it, you can look at the uniform and you can really tell that you compare compared to his base. This was definitely not a copy paste job. Somebody really took the time to put some effort into it, some thought behind the lore of the character. You know what I'm saying? Like this is these are the type of uniforms that I really, really love, right? Ones that when I pick them up, it feels like I'm playing a brand new character, right? And honestly, it feels like thought, effort, and like love was poured into the character. That's just my that's just my two cents. The hell do I know? Ooh, that was sauce. Okay, where you going, big guy? Calm down, calm it down. Ooh, I think I might have died there in the cutscene because something hit me. Okay, I'm gonna use the two just because I need to heal a little bit. That heal two clutch. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the center just in case. And then I'm gonna use four, then five. Oh boy. Come on, jump to me. There we go. I want to get out of this so badly, but I know if I get out, I'm right into the beam. <laughs> it's nice to have the option of like letting it play out. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so we lost and he's about to go up. So this is gonna definitely push us way over. We'll keep going though. Okay, can he just jump back to me? Oh, never mind. He's using the Super Titan Punch. Okay. Yo, Mr. Prez, I'll hit you with that invite right after, bro. Let me just uh, finish this up. And of course, I would have liked to get some damage off. Boys, you see where this is going. It's going to take me a little while to like get him. Actually, no, I might, might get him in the next rotation if he's cooperative. Let's actually go four. Then five. Then two. Ooh, hello. So super Titan points to start, eh? This is how we playing? This is how we rocking? Okay. Nice. Yo, <laughs> Prez, I'll hit you with an invite <laughs> after, fam. There we go. So yeah, he's definitely a little bit behind on both Thanos and Call of Sidian, but he came out ahead on um Ebony Ma. I'm not sure if that was by fluke. But it is what it is. I'll show you all the build really quickly. You can see for yourself. It's a 160 proc with mind damage. Take a look at the kid. 160 proc with mind damage. You see for yourself the uh, ISO set. It's pretty close to. Then you can take a look at their skills. And Uru wise, I think they're about the same. One has more crit damage than the other. One has more crit rate. I'll show you all the details page in a sec. And, and Obviously, the kid doesn't have a uniform, and Mysterio does, and it's a legendary uniform that has gotten some love from me. At some point, I will get it to Mythic because this, in my opinion, is a very good uniform. The character isn't super OP, he isn't broken, but he's fun to play, and picking up the uniform, right? It definitely transformed him from a, uh, a good character, right, for Shadowland to a much better character for PvE content overall. Anyways, boys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys would like me to do this comparison again and do it differently. But I think I did a decent enough job showcasing the strengths and the weaknesses of both of these characters. Mysterio, a little bit harder to play than Kid Omega. But that doesn't mean he's hard to play. Just harder. Just because Kid is much easier than the average character to play. I think Kid got a lot of love from that Marvel in this update. That's just my personal opinion, right? Because he has the accumulation, he has, you can see for yourself right here, immunity and invincibility plus really good damage on his fourth skill with a massive attack buff. So the kid got a lot of love from Netmar, but this is a character that was well designed and this is a uniform that got a lot of love invested into it. So overall, both solid pickups. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.